Major 4 is taking place this weekend, and this might be the most important COD tournament yet. At the end of this tournament, four teams' entire seasons will be over, Boston Breach being one of them already. But for three other teams, this tournament means so much. But unfortunately, there will be no fans there to cheer them on. Originally, Carolina was supposed to host this tournament. Towards the beginning of the CDL season, they announced that they would not host the tournament due to a variety of reasons, but I think one of it was probably funding. And I'm getting deja vu from last Last year because if you remember during the Modern Warfare 2 season, NYSL was supposed to host Major 4 at the King's Theater in Brooklyn, but in a similar fashion at the beginning of the CDL season they announced that there would be no LAN event there and they hosted it in Columbus, Ohio instead with zero fans in attendance. I actually went to the King's Theater in 2022 and it was a beautiful venue like it's an actual theater. I went with one of my best friends and it was one of the best times cruising around New York and getting a chance to watch the COD League take place in person. Man, shout out to the King's Theater though. Anyways, after the event was canceled last year, NYSL hosted it in Columbus, Ohio, and this is what the event looked like. Now fast forward to this year, the event will be held in Burbank, California, and there will be no fans in attendance, so I'm assuming the setup will look something similar to this. Hopefully the CDL can clutch up and create a good viewing experience for all of us at home. It's unfortunate because Major 3 was considered one of the best events in the history of the CDL, with Optic taking home the gold. The crowd was electric in Toronto, and even watching it at home, I could just tell that energy was insane and some teams like optic thrive off of the fans energy as we've seen in major three and i feel like it definitely gave them a boost going forward into the tournament so it's going to be a whole new environment going to this land event with zero fans but regardless it is still land and with that the online cdl season is officially over so that's how we got to this LAN event in Burbank. But now let's take a look at the bracket and see why this tournament matters so much for some of these teams. In the race for COD champs, the top four teams are already solidified. The gap in the regular season is insane between NYSL and Miami. So they're locked for champs with the fifth seed down fighting for their spot for champs, which will take place in July. Now see, for Boston Breach, their season is chalk. They only have 60 CDL points. And in some miracle, they beat Optic, getting their first win in 97 seven days and i don't know if that says more about boston or optic it's just a crazy turn of events i thought they should have brought center into the starting lineup i feel like that would have changed things but they have another chance to compete in the esports world cup happening in august but moving on to the teams that need to win some of these matches in order to play for an extra few weeks and tied for 10th place with 140 cdl points is minnesota rocker and after major two place in top eight they had lens accuracy awakening and vivid but rocker decided to make the rock roster change, switching two people, Awakening and Vivid. Gunless had made a name for himself in the Miami Challengers Open, and Standy already had pro experience, so Rocker took the chance and picked up both players, but it hasn't worked in their favor since they were picked up. In Major 4, they're going to have to start in the loser's bracket after going 2-5 and five in the online split, but they've beaten Boston and Optic in the online split, and their bracket is looking really difficult. Honestly, out of 5-11, through 11, they have one of the toughest roads to qualify for champs, but let's see if they could clutch up and make it happen. Tied with Rocker is LAG. Their road is a little easier because they're starting in the winner's bracket. But like I said, it's only a little bit easier because they got to play Toronto Ultra in the first round. So I might as well just say they're going to start in losers, but anything could happen. They replaced Assault with Flames after Major 2, but similar to Rocker, they have not placed well since. During the online qualifiers for Major 4, they went 3-4, and four, and they honestly beat the teams that they needed to in order to get into the winner's bracket. But Dimecon and Estrella have clutched up for them when it matters so we'll see if they could do it again if they end up losing to toronto they're gonna match up against carolina in the losers round so regardless what happens it's gonna be tough for them they're neck and neck with carolina royal ravens who has had an interesting season to say the least it's been full of ups and downs with a veteran clayster leading the charge for this team they have gwen fellow and tj halley alongside clay and gwen has really been the star for this team he's won some series single-handedly for them and this team has played better on land in the past so I feel like that's going to work in their favor during Major 4. However, they're starting in loser's bracket because of one match that happened last weekend. And that match was the LA Thieves match versus NYSO. And if you look at the Major 4 qualifiers, the Ravens and the Gorillas were tied. And I was wondering why Carolina went to the loser's bracket instead of LAG. And it's actually because LAG beat them 
during the online split. So if Ravens would have won that match, they could be in the winner's bracket, but they would still have to play Toronto. So <laughs> Clay had a chance last year to qualify with Vegas Legion, but it didn't happen. So we'll see if he can get on his redemption arc and make the run to champs. And they are tied with Vegas Legion, who similarly has had a season full of ups and downs. They clutched up during the online qualifiers, going four and three, and they really won the matches that they needed to. They picked up Asim for three weeks after dropping Purge. It only lasted three weeks, and then they picked up Ojani. It took some time, but I think he's really adjusting to this team. And Vegas Legion is looking much better, but it'll really come down to if they can perform on land because they struggled at the last LAN event and they got a matchup against Seattle Surge in the first round. But even if they lose that match, they have to play Boston Breach, which I feel like is a free win. But we'll see if they can make it happen. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a Boston Breach series. I'm glad we were able to get some of our Breach bucks this year because a lot of these other teams have gotten like 30% of their CDL points from them. Uh, so it's nice. Damn! And LAT is right above them with a 15 point gap. And like I said before, they won a must win match against NYSL. And that was the first win they've had against a top four team all season. If they would have lost this match, they would be in the loser's bracket right now, but instead they clutched up and will start in the winner's bracket, and this made their chances for making COD champs that much greater. And Ghosty has been the leader for this team, and without him, this team would not be as successful as they are. He has boosted his stock this season so much, but either way, this weekend, they're going to start off playing Miami Heretics. It's going to be a tough matchup, but on land this season, they've struggled. They placed top 12, top 12, and top 8, so we'll see what they could do. In 5th and 6th, we got Seattle Surge and Miami Heretics. Seattle picked up 0-4 after Major 2 Miami, and they also picked up Brezzy in place of Illy and Arcides. And since then, the team has looked great at SD, and they've been polishing up their gameplay, and 0-4 has been the difference maker for them. They play Legion in the first round, and Miami play LA Thieves. And Miami has looked much better since picking up Real. They tried a little Purge Redemption arc, but unfortunately that failed. And both of these teams have a little gap that will definitely help them qualify for champs if they win the matches that they need to like i said the top four are locked optic had probably one of the craziest falloffs i've seen in the cdl so far they won major three after not winning an event in over 100 days and they were looking amazing like we were debating if this is one of the best optic teams ever and then they just fell off going one and six and they start in the losers bracket which is going to create a problem for a lot of these teams trying to qualify for champs because a loser of la thieves and heretics is going to have to play optic and i feel like they're just going to be a problem in the losers bracket so we'll have to see if optic can redeem themselves from a disappointing online split hey but online is over now so everything all the online matches everything that happened in the season has to be put in the past and they got to focus on this tournament so this will be the biggest tournament of the year until cod champs obviously and i cannot wait for it to get started on thursday so with that this is how the teams can earn cdl points during this major four the real goal for most of these teams is probably to place like sixth or higher because getting 30 points is huge with how tight the race is and i just went in and i created my my own bracket so here it is on the screen i didn't look at anybody else's bracket i just did what i felt in my heart was gonna happen during this major tournament as you can see i got ultra and phase in the grand finals with ultra taking it obviously there's a draza and scrap beef that has been building all year and I think this will be a great way to bring it full circle. But I actually have Optic losing to Carolina. I feel like Carolina is going to make a run during this land. I mean, this tournament has to be one of the most important tournaments for Clayster's career. And I also feel like NYSL can upset FaZe in the first round of winners. If my predictions are true, then the teams that will not make champs, if I did the math correctly too, I don't know if I did, would be Vegas, LAG, Minnesota Rocker, and Boston Breach. With the other eight making it. So we'll have to see if this is accurate after the tournament ends. And after I'll be back with another video on the channel. I cannot wait. It's going to be a great weekend of COD. And it's crazy that it's already the end of the season. It's going to be a great way to start this summer. And with that, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a like. Comment down below who you think is going to win the CDL Major 4 tournament. And also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I hope that you guys have a great week. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace. Ten.